Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan from Make Love Via Self Learning Tutorials. Well guys, today in this tutorial, we'll be learning something unique that how we can create such organic shapes inside FreeCAD. So on the left hand side of the screen, you can see some very different or weird kind of Voronoi base shapes are there that are not generally easily possible inside FreeCAD while uh, conventional modeling uh, but today we'll explore like how we can create such such shapes or some fancy facades on the wall uh, in terms of Voronoi based uh, methodology so for that basically there's a hidden workbench uh, that we'll be utilizing today called as nodes so you go to tools and add on manager right so inside this uh, you can search the workbench, workbench called nodes this one and you can basically install on your FreeCAD right so currently this is, is already is already installed on my system the only drawback which I see this is currently not maintained as I can see so and it is not much talked in the community as well and there is no uh, much helping material around this but yeah definitely we should start using it and once this gets into the eye and accordingly more development would be there because this is extremely powerful so I'll show you some of the like use case today maybe in the f uh, future we'll see more granular uh, usage but today we'll see how you can create a fancy facade here for this wall right so as this workbench is already installed on our system so we'll simply go to nodes workbench and here you have this only one icon uh, which shows the node editor we click on this and this node editor basically opens on your system now we'll go to file and click on new right so basically this is a new graph you can save it also uh, in JSON format uh, which we'll do once we create the graph so this is visual programming interface uh, for easily controlling FreeCAD which manually cannot, cannot be done it can be done via python and some interface but it provides a kind of bridge between uh, the manual thinking and the automation which is there at the back end and the apis right so it's very easy i should say in a way once you start to get into it and then you will like gonna love it like how you can control your free cad very intuitively right guys so basically you want to create facade on this wall so the label is south wall right so we'll basically right click on it just to insert node you can search the nodes if you are familiar or you can explore all of these groups for a relevant node so not to confuse much here we will simply jump to the problem that we want to solve and then we will learn that how what kind of nodes we need during our journey right so right now we want to create the Voronoi based facade so for that under spatial group we have Voronoi on solid right because this wall is a solid so click on this so this is uh, asking us to give a shape object give some points on which you want to create those Voronoi shapes the mode right now there are four modes 0 1 2 and 3 in form of numbers which I'll explain later and then there is scale like how you want to scale your Voronoi which we won't be touching much right so these first three inputs we need so now the shape that we want to get from the wall so how we bring this wall into the editor so we right click on this and here on the basically scene group we have object in that we want to consume so we'll provide the object label here so if you remember the object label is south wall you can copy it and then we can paste it here make sure all the spellings and casings are fine now we s cannot directly connect this because this is just a string now we want to extract the solids and the shape from this so what we will do we go to scene again and then this is object data we'll connect this object to this and then basically you have the shape right but remember we cannot directly connect this shape with this Voronoi on solid because this is working on the solid thing right so we need to extract solid from this object so how we will do that we'll go to analyzers and then you have shape content 
right so as like you gradually start on using these nodes you will get to know, know like where my relevant nodes are lying what nodes do i basically need to use right and what are their use cases so as i have used this so i know but as i'm gradually moving with the problem you will also get familiar right so it's just like solving one problem at a time so we'll get the shape content so we'll connect the shape to here right so you can then fetch the solids now basically uh this solid we can connect to this shape right now what we need is we need the points on which we need to generate these voronoi so for that basically under spatial you have populate solid with the points right and uh, this is a solid object we'll click on this and then we will as is saying populate solid so we'll connect this solid under shape we can't connect our wall shape directly right and then we'll give the count like how much points do we need here so for that we need to provide a number so under here number group you can give this number and you can give like 50 is a count you can connect it here similarly we want to put a distance between those points for the voronoi let it be 500 right i'll connect it like this and now you have the points basically created right and these points we will be connecting to our voronoi on solid so i'll just connect it like this right it will just take a little while because it's generating something now we have the voronoi created let us just give the mode also let me just copy number node again and let me give zero though by default it consumes zero only okay so i'll connect this zero number to the mode so now you have your shape created now as a result we want this shape to be reflected inside our freak and freak at viewer right because now we have done all that algorithm here we want it to reflect back on the freak at so for that purpose we'll go to visualizer group and we have c viewer here basically we'll click on this right and then we'll connect our you can see a c viewer component is created here which will be like talking between this a uh, script reader writer to the free cat viewer and we'll connect this shape here and you can see your voronizer created just make sure these c viewer is a temporary viewing thing because as soon as you close your script uh, this c viewer like shape won't retain so you have to basically copy it into some shape i'll just show you that so if i just hide my original wall which was this one so now you can see your voronoi shape is created right i'll just show you those modes also like what are those currently this was with zero mode let me make it mode 1 so it will be some different kind of um uh, voronoi basically so you can see here but this is something which we don't require at the moment right so i'd like to be one only and similarly you can explore other nodes like 2 and 3 so we'll go with the zero mode only right so as you type it basically just take a slide because it's rendering parallelly right so now you have created this let me save this script also click on save let me just give it a name of facade script and i'll save it right so now i have saved my script don't close this script unless and until we copy this c viewer object into freecad so how we'll do that we'll go to bim workbench or part workbench right so we click on this c viewer we go to modify and here you have create simple copy right just do that and now you have this copy created and now basically you can close your script So you see, as soon as you close your script, the C viewer first one will basically go away. So there is 
quite rendering consumption here in terms of CPU. So now we have this. Let me just rename it to facade, right? And then we can give some random color to it as per your need, right? And this is how basically uh, you can create such fancy uh, geometry on your building. So various use cases are there. This is the one use case you can do it on facade. You can have it for your pathways, right? You can create some different brick wall shapes, uh, right? For your decoration. So this basically is very intuitive and it's quite nice. Uh, right guys. So just explore this on your own. I'll be dropping the sample file as well for you guys to basically just try your hands on uh, both the script and this free cat file right so you can try on your own uh, so if you're new to this channel like feel free to like subscribe the channel and let me know your views with the comments right share this with your network so that they can also like uh, get familiar with new use cases and developments of free cat right guys so I think this was all for today. Uh, see you soon with some new tutorial. Right. Till then, take care. Goodbye. And thank you so much.